with us now. From what I understand from my daughter Bethany, it is really the Occupy Sandy people, more than the Red Cross or FEMA or all the other organizations that is really pulling together to have a, um, a sustainable uh, effort here. This is the kind of mobilizing that really makes the change and binds people together and saying, we have done this. We have saved these lives. We have stopped the devastation of Sandy. But a soul will die without liberty. But we pray for the day when this struggle is past. We say, Freedom for all, free and last. I think that the forces that would tear apart this country are very strong and they're very entrenched and they have the money and they have the, uh, a lot of the votes and they have the media to brainwash people who don't know that their right is to think for themselves. People said, well, it's over, Occupy Wall Street. Well, it's, it's not. It just found its identity not as a way of saying no and you've got to resolve this, but a way of saying yes and we will not be disenfranchised. We will not be uh, obliterated by the selfishness and greed and inequity that has taken over this country and the demolition of the of the machinery of democracy. Wait, wait, you don't know the words. You just didn't grow up with it. <laughs> You're just not pinkos, that's all. <laughs> we shall not, we shall not be moved. We, we shall, shall not, we shall not be moved. next step, another, another achievement will occur and that will allow people to say, you know something, we don't have to be mandated by government to make changes. We can do this from the grassroots up. And that's how the civil rights movement was successful. And it was done through inspiration and love. That's how the the war was ended, the, uh, the Vietnamese War, and that's how hopefully this nation will once again get a hold of its, um, of, it, of its heart and its sense of community rather than languish into this greedy, mean-spirited perspective that, that deprives us of what life is really about and what our country should really be about. All over this land It's still the hammer of justice It's still the bell of freedom It's still the song about the love between my brothers and my sisters All 
all over this land. It's been a long time since I've seen this kind of spark, this kind of energy, and this kind of urgency. So hopefully we're witnessing the birth of um, the American Spring in the kind of profound ways that are absolutely essential and deeply needed. Brothers and